Peter Del Pena with Saurabh Nechavalkar, USA captain. After a very bizarre day here in Bermuda, it's USA's first ever T20I victory over Cayman Islands. Congratulations on that. But I think the bigger story, people falling at home and people at the ground, are very concerned about the manner in which the victory came about today. You guys really struggled to get across the line, win on Duckworth Lewis in the end by 10 runs. But what are your overall thoughts, and, and how would you characterize how the team approached the chase in particular? Well, when we looked at the wicket, I was happy to bowl first and good I won the toss uh, because the rain was always in play and I, need, I wanted our batsmen to have a fair idea of what exactly we needed. Uh, so that was good. I think if we start with our bowling, I think there's no, no room for pacers. I straight away started with spinners early as possible and I think the spinners handled it well. All five of them bowled well, they did their part. Uh, they chipped in with 2-2 two, two wickets, I think, and uh, we restricted them to a good score. Uh, I think batting-wise, again, it was a tough track to bat on. It was turning square, to, to be fair. And uh, I think credit, uh, first of all, to Aaron Jones. That's a brilliant knock. Uh, play deck to play on that turning track, play effortless cricket. He played, he played fearless cricket. He took on that responsibility both the days, even yesterday's game and today's game. That's a good positive for us. Xavier, he, 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 like, even though he was finding it tough to score runs, he didn't give it away. He stuck it out. Uh, those are a few positive signs there. But of course, I mean, we shouldn't be losing five wickets against this team. I think we should have the batters. That's one thing to learn where we can take more responsibility and hang in there a little bit more, even if the conditions are tougher. Uh, that's one thing to learn from this game. I think from last game, we had a lot of learnings, as I said, where we need to cut down our boundary percentages for bowlers, uh, bowl more dot balls. Uh, and I think, yeah, we have a good quality day tomorrow and a chance to train. Uh, so tomorrow, uh, individually, we've had, we, had, we had a talk on what, what each individual needs to work on. So hopefully we do that 100% to, in tomorrow's training session and then we show up fresh for the day after game in the next phase of the tournament and then we start off with a new positivity. Just quickly, the intent, I mean, that's the biggest thing that has been absent. Even yesterday, some of the guys, especially at the top, Xavier Marshall, two days in a row, I know that the pitch was challenging. You could see from the stream or in person, it was turning quite sharply even in the morning match with you, uh, Canada Bermuda, excuse me. but. Just the approach, the intent is lacking. It, he, it, whether it's Xavier in particular, most of all, but a few of the other guys too, they almost look scared to hit the ball. And USA has a reputation as being some of the most aggressive batsmen in associate cricket. Do you, are you concerned that there's something going on mentally with some of the guys that they are going into their shell a little bit instead of playing with a bit more freedom? Well, I don't think so. I mean, if you look at the results last game, we just lost by six runs and it was just one hit away. And in today's game, to be fair, it was it was a square turner. You have to give it to their bowlers as well. They kept the ball on the, st on the stumps. They started with all their spinners and they did bowl the right, right areas. But I think, I think I still believe that we are still a much stronger team than the results show. And... Uh, I believe we are going to show up a different team day after tomorrow.